Hi everyone, I'm Nina Dönninger and I'm a research assistant at the University of Würzburg, Germany. Today I present my and my co-author's work on the topic Are embodied avatars harmful to our self-experience? The impact of virtual embodiment on body awareness. My co-authors are Erik Wolf, Mario Bott, Marc-Erich Latoschik and Caroline Dienrich. Every living being on our planet has a body. Our bodies enable us to interact with our environment by continuously providing information about that environment, about our movements and posture, our internal states and our subjective well-being. A core research question of cognitive science deals with the perception of our bodies. Embodiment, the experience of simultaneously being and having a body, depicts a research perspective that defines the body as a prerequisite for mental processes and examines them concerning their bodily foundation and expression. The perception of our internal body signals, our body awareness, is crucial for mental health. Disturbances in body awareness are linked to a range of mental illnesses. As most of you know, VR is already an integral part of research on psychotherapy. In private use, various VR applications target the mental health of their users, for example through mindfulness tasks. In view of the increase of VR and avatar-based mental health applications, it is essential to investigate how VR affects body awareness. What happens to our bodily experience when we suddenly have to act and interact through a digital replica instead of our well-known and familiar body? VR system allows us to represent, extend and redefine our own bodies. Embodying avatars implies a complex combination of virtual and physical signals. The physical body is covered by a virtual body, whose movements are in turn controlled by physical body movements. This interaction of different perceptual layers could lead to a number of effects on the experience and behavior of individuals in VR. While there has been little focus on body awareness in previous research on avatars, Studies on the effects of sense of embodiment towards artificial body parts on body awareness have yielded mixed results. While Filippetti and colleagues found a positive correlation between sense of embodiment and body awareness in a rubber hand illusion task, the sense of embodiment towards faces led to a reduction in body awareness in their experiments. When embodying virtual avatars, we formally found a positive correlation between sense of embodiment and body awareness. However, so far it has not yet been systematically investigated to what extent VR has an impact on body awareness and how avatars contribute in this context. Are embodied avatars helpful or even harmful to our self-experience? To bridge this gap, we investigated the following research questions. In an environment as similar as possible to reality, with an avatar moving as congruent to the physical movements as possible, how does VR impact on body awareness? Does a mirror, a common tool to increase the sense of embodiment, affect body awareness? And to what extent is the sense of embodiment towards the visible body the fundament for experiencing body awareness in VR? In our experiment, we used a virtual environment that looked as similar as possible to our lab. In addition, we created photorealistic personalized avatars of our participants. For this, we used the body scanner of the embodiment lab of the University of Würzburg. To animate the avatars, we recorded the subject's body position using a Vive Pro headset, Valve index controllers and three Vive Pro 3.0 trackers that were attached to the feet and hip of our participants. We tested a 2x2 two two mixed design. 40 participants at a medium age of 22 years performed body movement tasks in reality and virtual reality while either facing the mirror image or not. After the participants gave their consent, we performed the body scan to create their avatar. The participants then answered demographic questions and we assessed their body awareness in a heartbeat counting task. They then were divided into either the mirror or no mirror group and started with the first movement task, either in virtual, virtual reality or in reality. Following this, they answered verbal questions and then left the lab environment to answer questionnaires about their body awareness and sense of embodiment. Subsequently, they repeated the whole cycle in the second condition. 
Our study led to four results. First, we found a significant effect of virtuality on the sense of embodiment. Participants reported feeling less body ownership and agency towards their virtual body in VR than towards their physical body in reality. Additionally, they felt more changed by the experience in VR than in reality. Second, we found some effects of virtuality on body awareness. Participants reported noticing fewer signals from within their bodies, relied more on what they saw than what they felt, and found it significantly less easy to focus on their bodies in VR than in reality. Three, the mirror did not affect the sense of embodiment, but had a significant effect on the attention that our participants spent on their visual rather than their bodily feelings. Four, we found a significant mediating effect of perceived agency on attention regulation and a significant mediating effect of perceived change on noticing and internal and visual attention, while higher agency was associated with a higher attention regulation, higher change ratings were associated with less noticing of internal signals and more attention towards visual rather than bodily signals. Our work provides new insights into the perception of the interplay of virtual and physical signals in the embodiment of virtual avatars. Already in a virtual environment with a strong anchoring in the physical environment, with the user's photorealistic mimicked avatars, the medium VR has an effect on body awareness. Our results form a basis for a number of further research questions in the field of embodiment and avatar interaction. The first we want to point out today is, when mirrors do not affect the sense of embodiment, do we need mirrors in an avatar-based body awareness task? The mirror had no effect on the sense of embodiment, but caused our participants to be more concerned with the appearance of their avatar than with their physical sensations. Our participants had potentially high expectations concerning their avatar's appearance and movements. Minor deviations in facial features could have impacted the sense of embodiment in our study, especially as we did not contrast the personalized virtual bodies with generic ones. To ensure that the focus during a virtual mind-body exercise remains on the body sensations, and as the positive effect of prolonged mirror exposure on sense of embodiment is questionable, we would argue against using a mirror during the whole length of a virtual exercise. The second question we want to address today is, when virtuality affects body awareness, are virtual bodies still worth considering in the design of mind-body therapy? We found some effects of virtuality on body awareness, which were partly caused by the feeling of being changed by the avatar. However, none of these overlasted the experience, as we did not find a significant effect in our post-experience questionnaires. It may be concluded that virtuality, at least for our realistic scenario, had neither a lasting supportive nor a disruptive effect on body awareness. However, caution should be exercised when using virtual bodies in VR-based mind-body exercises. Future work should investigate how the personalization of virtual bodies contributes to the found effects and address whether the embodiment of generic or less realistic virtual bodies leads to similar results. We argue that the potential of avatars can and should be considered. However, when creating such scenarios, designers should consider how the virtual environment, the performed task, and the virtual body itself affect body awareness. To sum up our results, I would like to leave you with the following. Body awareness should be integral in the design and evaluation of VR experiences, especially when they aim at mental health. Embodying a photorealistically personalized avatar can affect body awareness. Feeling changed by an avatar mediates the effects of VR on body awareness. And fourth and finally, we don't know yet whether embodied avatars are harmful, but we are hoping the best for future work. Thank you for your attention.